So Brandon's never ridden a motorcycle before. Motorcycle. So his granny's not home yet, so I told him, well, we'll give you a little lesson here. So right now, key is still on. Yep, no, I put it back in neutral. Up is... Okay. So you remember where the starter button is. Yep. So up is downshift, down is... Well, you've got five gears. Okay. All the way down is one. Uh -huh. When you come all the way up, you pass through neutral on the way to second. Okay. And then it's third, fourth, fifth, and then back down again, fourth, third, second, and then you pass through neutral again down to first. And some, usually you have to kind of feel, because like I say, neutral is right between first and second. Okay, so... So, so once you get it running, first. that's first. Okay, and then through neutral. Yeah, that's second, third, third. Okay. fourth, so fifth. So it's like tapping it as switch. Yeah, okay. so if you want to get it down to first, you just like tap it until it won't go down, won't go down anymore. That's neutral. So you can start it, and I think you have to put your foot on the brake. Yeah, that's right. Which is a good thing because it kind of keeps you from, you know, starting it and having it take off with you. All right. We're going to try this again. Yeah. And don't feel like you have to give it an awful lot of gas. Just give it a little gas and release it very slowly. Usually your clutch doesn't come out on this one until it gets out your way, so. so All the way down. Yeah. It, okay, there we go. Okay. A little nervous. Huh? A little nervous. That's like, just like that. Now hold it right there. See, that's a good place for you to start to get the feel of the clutch. Oh, you're out of gear. Yeah. It's really a good idea to kind of, don't forget the clutch. It's a good idea to kind of put it in gear and let it pull you a little and stop a few times to get used to where it comes out. Otherwise, you'll crank that throttle harder and harder, and when it comes out, it'll tip you up in the air. <laughs> You're making me nervous. I'm making you nervous too. You're making me nervous. You don't need to think about shifting gears. Yeah. All you need is you you need to you know you need to stay in first until you learn to put your feet yeah, on the pedals without falling off and learn how to stop without falling off. So I would not recommend if you get it in first, don't don't even think about shifting. <laughs> think about, you know, getting your feet on the pedals. The big thing about that is you have to remember to take your feet off the pedals. Like my dad, first time I had him ride my bike when I was a kid, he rode it right up to a stop. He was concentrating on the brake, on the clutch, but he didn't remember to put his feet down. And him and the bike toppled right over. So I'd rather not see you do that. This might not be the best place to start because of this gravel. So you might want to just back it back down the hill like this. Yeah, you, you got to keep in mind that that's the guess. <laughs> Let me take it down there for you. I don't have the best shoes on, boy. This has to change up. I agree with you. <laughs> well, I think what I want you to do this time is practice taking off and stopping. So just take off, go a few feet, and stop. Okay. Let's go on down a little more so you got room. Right. Come on down some more. I'm going to give you a little room to go. I think what I'm going to try to do is keep you on the pavement. So what I want, what I'm going to have you do is, is start and stop about even with where the back of the car is. Right. That way you can learn how to start the bike, stop the bike, and maybe get your feet off the ground and back on the ground. Because both of those things are going to be important. Okay. I'm going to switch my shoes real quick. Okay. 